few years ago, and it's been actually since I've been here in Splendora, Texas. I walk down, I have a habit of worshiping in front of the young people down here. And I made a comment one day <clears throat> to a couple of the young people. I said, You will never out worship me. She said, You would. <laughs> but something happens to these old bodies. But what I literally meant, and I actually explained it to them, I promise you, I will always be there to worship. Do you feel that way tonight, folks? I love Him. I'm so very thankful tonight for what He means to me. Amen. And when I say that tonight, that's, that is a challenge to our young people. The worship of our God is not just running circles around in the building. That's praise. David danced before the Ark of the Covenant as he, as he brought the Ark of God back into the Kingdom of Israel. And that was a praise, Brother Clay, but true worship is what we do every day. It's the way we wake up. It's, what, it's our thankfulness to Him for salvation. Not only for salvation, but for His blessings in our life. There is not one day that goes by I cannot live without my Savior. I take every breath. I thank Him for every breath. I thank Him tonight for every heartbeat. And I'm so thankful tonight to be in this service. But the challenge is still there. You will not out-worship me. Now, somebody told Andrew the other day that he was dancing and, or shouting up here and he was jumping, and I'm not trying to embarrass him, but somebody said his feet was higher than those chairs. I don't know if that's true. I wasn't down there, but it's probably their perspective from where they were sitting. I've always heard white men can't jump. But, uh, anyway, we won't go there tonight, but I'm so thankful to be in youth service. You will not out-worship me you might out chum me, you might outrun me, you might out shout me, but I promise you I'm here to worship tonight. I come into this house to give God glory and to praise Him and to back up the Word of God. I'm looking forward to a young man coming into this pulpit tonight and challenging my spirit. Hey, listen, folks. I believe our young, I believe in our young people. I believe in them strongly, and I believe in Brother Bo. And he's going to be delivering a word of God tonight, and I'm excited to hear about what God has given to him because I know he spent time in prayer. Yes. If I know Brother Bo, his hands wasn't in his pocket while he was seeking <laughs> the Lord. Brother Colbert teased him the other night, but his hands wasn't in his pockets in the prayer room while ago when I walked in there. He was freshening up on what God wants to say to us tonight. I'm excited. Are you? Let's go to the Lord in prayer tonight.